Hello and welcome to IFE News. We bring to you all the latest happenings and celebrities visiting at the Film Fest. Now, top happenings at IFE. Religion, Faith and Spirituality form the crux of two documentaries screened in Soul of Asia package curated by Meera Devan. Directors of Buddha and Mystic Iran, the Unseen World documentaries, were speaking at a press conference in Panji. Award-winning filmmaker David Grubin speaks about Buddha in his two-hour-long documentary. He has made over 100 films ranging from history to art and from poetry to science. Prachot Pednekar reports. Being a part of Seoul of Asia, that's such a nice title, Seoul of Asia, and and certainly the Buddha is a very good example of the Seoul of Asia. I am not a Buddhist, but I think that all of us can learn from the Buddha's experiences and from this ancient wisdom tradition. You know, it's been around for 2,500 years. There's a reason why it's been here. And I wanted to tell the story of the Buddha. I didn't make a film that searched for the historical accuracy, you know, was the Buddha really uh, enlightened under a tree of Bodhgaya? I wasn't interested in those questions. What's more important to me is the meaning of the story. Why is this story so powerful? And what the interpretation of that story might be. And many different interpretations I asked many different people from different Buddhist traditions and the film is a, is a retelling of the story uh, with uh, contemporaries interpreting it so it's a kind of a dialogue with the past. Well, Mystic Iran, uh, Mystic Iran covers the ancient uh, mystic messages of from old Persia to now Iran. And uh, it's, a, it's a travel into the past and uh, uh, brings up a little bit of touch up spirit of Iran. Uh, I film I did this uh, about ten years ago and it took me two two years to finish it. Uh, it was a very difficult project to make, but I think it somehow pulled the, the, what I wanted to talk about and brought it up and my goal of doing the, the film was to bridge between, uh, between uh, West and East. I precisely, I can say, the Iran and United States. I wanted to bring a different side of Iran for people to see. If he is trying to do something new every year, and this is the 42nd edition, 43rd edition rather. So it started in 1952, and it was started with Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to promote good cinema. And so we have come to this stage, and uh, in order to bring in new energy, we try to curate new sections. So this year, this is a new section that has been introduced, the soul of Asia, and we are hoping that this will be this external as well as internal identity of the festival. So in other words, we'll continue to have maybe not many quantitative, but it will be qualitative films, maybe even five films or seven films or eight films. It's not the number out of the hundred and some films, but they'll always be of a certain bring a certain perspective which is inward looking rather than outward looking and which is about inward action and not external action which we see in cinema a lot of the time. If it is not all about glamour but its success depends on the content. This is what the delegates and guests had to say to our reporter Rohit Wadkar and Prajot Pednekar. They were responding to the question for the day where we asked the delegates and guests present at IFI 2012 their opinion on a particular topic related to the film festival and Goa. The latest question we put forward was, is IFI incomplete without participation of Amitabh Bachchan and Rajnikan during the last nine years? So basically, how long have been associated with this uh, International Film Festival, the festival? Yeah. In fact, I have been associated with the International Film Festivals of India and Filmosavs for a very, very long time. 
and in fact I became the delegate of the International Film Festivals in 1983 uh, for the first time. Since then I have not missed an international film festival or film also, whether it was in Delhi or outside Delhi, I have been attending all the international film festivals regularly without fail. See, the International Film Festival of India is a, it is a very international event and it has various, uh, various objectives. And first is that the screening of the world's best cinema in the world. That is for the information of the people. Also for the filmmakers to understand the new technologies and uh, new systems of, uh, of making the uh, new cinema. Thirdly, people all over the world, they come across, they know each other's cultures. Now while keeping this perspective in view, whether a, a really a very well-noted or a highly popular a star or a superstar coming to, uh, coming to the festival or not, according to me, it does not matter much. Do you think that if a superstar comes, so the standard of the festival is very high? No. It is basically the content of the festival itself. It depends on actually the quality of the films which you have selected in the festival, the number of uh, sections which you have put in the, put in the selections and the master classes which you are uh, conducting in a, in a class or the seminars uh, which are being done at the workshops uh, on the latest technology. According, I think that is more important than uh, looking into a, a really uh, a, a high celebrity coming and, attend, uh, and inaugurating the festival or, or, or participating. हाँ अगर भारतीय सिनेमा में अमिताभ बच्चन को महान महानायक कहा गया है और वो इस तरह की फिल्म फेस्टिवल में नहीं है नजारत हैं तो मैं यही कहूँगा कि इस तरह की फिल्में वो बना भी नहीं रहे बीते साल नहीं बनाई है आठ मूवी अगर कही जाए तो ब्लैक लास्ट लियर या लास्ट लियर इस तरह की मूवी बनाई है तो इस तरह ऐसे लोगों को वो करना चाहिए जैसे मैं बोलूँगा कि इस साल अक्षय कुमार ब्रांड एम्बेसडर कहेंगे इस पूरे फिल्म फेस्टिवल के तो उन्हें भी ये महसूस होता है कि यार मैं मैं इस तरह का फिल्म नहीं बनाता हूँ मैं इस तरह सिनेमा से बिलोंग नहीं करता हूँ तो मैं क्यों यहाँ पर हूँ तो ऐसे लोगों को यहाँ पर ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा वो करना अनुराग कश्यप वो यहाँ पर क्यों नहीं है मेरे को अजीब लगता है कि वो यहाँ पर क्यों नहीं है इनोग्रेशन एक बड़े स्टार से नहीं होता है एक आप अगर एक शख्सियत देखें उनका काम देखें जिसका काम है उसको बुलाया जाए बस मैं इतना ही कहना चाहूँगा I am a regular watcher of movies. What you call, I am a member of Film Goers Association and Film uh, uh, Like Producers Association also. This is said to be now where I have come to Goa is Ipi's hundred years film festival. It's a centenary celebration of the films. Is it not uh, Amitabh Bachchan or uh, Rajini Khan's duty to come and uh, wish all of you Govan people, Ifi personalities and we too? Haven't we seen uh, paying ticket to Amitabh Bachchan films? Or haven't we seen uh, uh, Rajini Khan's films? See how nicely Akshay youngster Akshay Kumar has come. Is it not duty of Rajini Khan to come and preside the festival of 100 years of Ifi? I'm a film critic and I don't feel like what you said about Rajini Khan or Amitabh Bachchan. It is not for glamour. The festival is for film students and film goers and filmmakers. Like that, we are we are going to study about the other all over the world, what films are going on and what is the um, their method of filmmaking and all that. But there is no glamour. Only in Goa, I I see this glamour touch. We don't because um, Kamal Hassan and others they used to come to the films and they used to sit with us to see the films. No glamour, nothing. It is a study. That's all. Not really, actually, because see, they've come here, they don't come here. People are visiting this in ample number of time, and it is a successful event happening since so many years. So, just because big people come here, I don't think it's making a really big difference. Too. They come, it's good, but if they don't come, it's not making a difference to me as well. Because ultimately, we come to watch lovely movies here, we interact with lovely directors here. So, I think it's not a big deal, not really. To me, at least, if not others, <laughs> there is a very good importance for all the international film festivals, especially for India. It is held at Goa. 
we are enjoying the films as well as interaction with world technicians, artists, press. And it's a very knowledgeable. And we have to acquire. And fortunately, I am here. But unfortunately, so many stalwarts and directors who are uh, afford to attend this function, they are not coming. It is because they are uh, underestimating the film festivals. They are uh, a frog in the well. They are not uh, satisfied with the world premieres and all these things. So, anybody is missing in the festival means there is no excuse for him. And without anybody no, uh, coming to the festival, the festival won't stop. This is my idea. And everybody should utilize this opportunity to attend the film festivals and to explore himself. I am a big fan of Amitabh Bachchan and Rajnikanth. They are really talented actors. But uh, see, we cannot rely on them always. So the new generation has to uh, come in and prove themselves. So we cannot continue always with Amitabh Bachchan and Rajnikanth with due respect to them. And uh, for this EFI, I'm especially happy with the organizers because uh, they have tried to promote our uh, Kokani Theatres by organizing different uh, programs. No, it has given a taste, local taste to this IFI. Even the one of the restaurants here, here at the IFI have been serving local uh, food. That has also made uh, the other delegates uh, from other states who visit Goa to exactly uh, know what Goa is, to taste the Goan food and meet the local, uh, local Goan Kokani Theatres. I'm, I'm also happy with the organizers. It looks uh, such a well-organized event. And I hope that uh, this trend will continue of giving opportunity to our local artists from Goa. Open Forum discussed on Exploring New Horizons International Co-Productions at Ionox Courtyard on Wednesday. Young filmmakers shared their experience on this platform. Prajot Pednekar reports. Co-Productions is the topic of our discussion today. What exactly is Co-Productions? How does it work? How does it help an independent filmmaker or a young filmmaker to finance his film? I think it would be a better idea to have a fair understanding of what Co-Production means. Uh, usually, the films that we see, it has got one producer's name attached to it. That producer belongs to one country. And the way we are citizens of a country, I think one film also belongs to one country. You will see that every film at any international uh, festival or market, it always introduced with the country's name attached to it. Various countries, they collaborate to make one film. When a film has a co-production deal with another international co-producer, it, it in a way legally acquires dual or multiple citizenship. About uh, five years back, India started organizing through NFDC a co-production market here in Goa every year. And uh, during the course of last five or six years, India has signed co-production treaties with various countries.